All right, James here. Now we're going to use the morphing to shut this eyelid. I'm going to delete this drawing and we're going to do it over, say, 10 frames. So I'm going to finish it closed. Currently, you'll see it just flicks from one to the other like a drawing substitution. I'm going to get a network view and I'm just going to make it so that I can see the rest of the art. So now you can see what we're going from. Now what you do is you select all the frames that you want to morph except for your target. So you're going from this frame to your target frame. You either press Control M or right click, go to Morphing and Create Morphing. And you'll see that I've actually drawn these drawings so appropriately that I'm not actually going to need to add any, point, any contour hints. However, I'm going to show you how to add the contour hints anyway, just to show you what this will look like when I take this out. You can see the eyes opens and shuts. And you can do this at any sort of level that you want. And you can also do a bottom one so that they meet up in the middle. And you can also use this in other parts of your project. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add contour hints because often you won't get this result as perfectly as you like. So what I'm going to do is go to the morphing tool over here go to our tool properties and you're going to want contour hints. I'm going to go to the first frame and I'm going to add a one hint here in this corner. I'm just going to move it and make sure it's dragged right in the corner and the second hint in this corner and we'll go to our last frame. You can't add hints in between, you add them at the end. I'm just going to go drag this into this corner And now you can see, instead of how it was just going down the side like there was, it's now going straight down. And I could do the same at the top and keep those top points out, but that's essentially it. So that's your eye. I'm going to go back over here, pull this out. You now have an eye opening and closing. Now, if you like a black outline, which I can understand if you'd rather that sort of this style on the left, on the left of the screen, the right eye, what you need to do is let's unlock this layer, lock this layer. So we're going to go to our eye back. I'm just going to select the outside. Control C and we're going to create a new layer. And hopefully we can paste it in here. Now, so look at our result. We're going to need to and now you can see by the position of it, you can now have your outline of your eye. You may want to grab this new outline. I was already put it in the right place, which is great. And that's your eye set up. You may want to move these around to try to make it a little bit neater. I can like grab all of those and just move them across. Anyway, so this is your eye setup. Now you can do the exact same thing in your other eye and you can morph your eyelids. And I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you can take something away from it.